Welcome back, friends. If you've ever felt overwhelmed trying to find the right currency pair to trade in the massive world of Forex, you're in the right place. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you step by step through how to use TradingView's Forex screener. By the end, you'll know exactly how to uncover powerful trading opportunities, filter for high potential setups, and get the most relevant market data all in one easy dashboard. Let's jump straight onto TradingView's home page together. At first sight, it might seem a bit busy, but don't worry we're going to break it down so you feel confident navigating each part. To access the Forex screener, start by heading up to the top menu and hover your mouse over Markets. A drop-down will appear, revealing different asset classes. Here, focus your attention on Forex. Go ahead and click it, then select Screen All Forex. This is your gateway to a comprehensive view of nearly every Forex pair out there. Now, once the screener opens, take a moment to look around. By default, you'll see the All tab. This shows every available Forex ticker tracked on TradingView, but don't just scan this list. Each tab above, Overview, Performance, Oscillators, and Trend Following, helps you drill down for specific insights. For example, Overview gives you a snapshot of price change and volume. Performance lets you measure how currency pairs are moving week over week. Month over month, super helpful for spotting momentum. If you're into technical analysis, Oscillators and trend following offer deeper signals like RSI and MACD, which can help you anticipate reversals or ride ongoing trends. If you look over on the left panel, you'll notice even more features. For instance, there's an option to export all this powerful screener data to a CSV file. A simple click lets you save everything for later or analyze in Excel. It's a fantastic way to keep tabs on your watch list or revisit past setups. Here, you can also adjust intervals, which means you can set timeframes from minutes to months handy if you're a day trader or a swing trader. Plus, you can toggle between major pairs like EURUSD or minor pairs like NZDJPY, depending on what you want to focus on. Now, let's explore some of the incredibly useful preset filters TradingView offers. You'll see buttons for rising pairs and falling pairs, which let you instantly zero in on currencies trending up or down. Clicking all-time high or all-time low instantly spotlights those pairs breaking historic boundaries. Sometimes these can signal breakout trading opportunities, but also be careful moments as price extremes may reverse. You also get options like new 52-week high or new monthly low, giving you a sense of medium-term highs and lows helpful for longer timeframe strategies. Maybe you're looking for volatility. The most volatile filter gathers the pairs making big moves, perfect for scalpers who want action. Or if you prefer trading zones, overbought and oversold highlight pairs based on the oscillator levels, potentially giving you clues for reversals or trend exhaustion. And for moving average fans, outperforming SMA50 and underperforming SMA50 tell you which pairs are trading above or below their 50-period simple moving average, a quick way to spot possible support or resistance areas. Finally, at the top, don't miss the customizable filters. You can go way deeper here, sorting by spread, volume, volatility, or even technical ratings. This is where TradingView's screener truly shines, letting you craft exactly the watch list you need for your style and strategy. This is a lot to take in, but give yourself some time to play around and try different combinations. Don't rush the more you experiment here, the more trading ideas you'll uncover. And if something doesn't seem to match what you expect, double check your filters or refresh the data. It's all part of learning. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a quick like and drop a comment below with any questions. I always love hearing what you're working on or what you want covered next. And if you're hungry for more smart trading tips, hit subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Until next time, happy trading.